OK, so this is just a demonstration of the mobile board solution from ePens. You need two products. Firstly, you need the mobile board. And secondly, you need the Mobile Notes Pro. So I've already got the system set up here, but just to give you a very uh, brief explanation of what's happening, we have the, the digital pen and the receiver unit. Now the receiver unit is attached to the clipboard. The digital pen will then send a signal to this receiver. The receiver in turn will send a Bluetooth signal to the adapter. Now this adapter is included within the mobile board. We found that computers, well not all computers have Bluetooth receivers built into them, and the ones that do, the receivers tend to be very limited in distance, maybe up to only two meters. So we've included this adapter, uh, which seems to work very well and has a, a, a pretty simple installation process. It's worked in all rooms that, that we've been in. Uh, they claim it will work in a room up to 200 meters wide. It doesn't matter if your computer already has Bluetooth built into it, a Bluetooth receiver built into it. The computer I'm using at the moment actually already has Bluetooth built into it. Um, but, but, but this adapter doesn't interfere with the, with the current um, Bluetooth receiver. But I'll, I'll go into that in a little bit more detail in the installation process, uh, which will be displayed in a, in a separate video. So this product does three things. The mobile board does three things. Um, firstly, it allows you to control your mouse. Hopefully, you can just about make out me controlling the mouse. Now, I'm doing that by, by, by writing in the top half of this board. So the top right of the paper is the top right of the screen. The bottom right of the paper is the bottom right of the screen. So hopefully you can see me moving the recycle bin around the screen. The second thing that it allows me to do is create a very simple whiteboard. So I click the button on the far right. Now these buttons are actually just plastic. There's nothing clever built into the clipboard. How this process works is the receiver knows the distance that the, this, this band is across the clipboard. And therefore it knows when your pen is over the top of the virtual button. So once you click it, it will turn the screen white. You can then have a very simple whiteboard, which has four colours, red, green, blue and yellow. And it will also allow you to change the thickness of the line that you are writing. It will also obviously allow you to rub out what you've been doing. Now if you wanted to, you could just delete all your, all your uh, writing in one go and everything disappears. That's the second thing that this product will do. The third thing is it will allow you to navigate through and also annotate a PowerPoint presentation. Now to do this, we have to just open up the PowerPoint. So I'll open one up here. So this is a PowerPoint presentation. Now on the clipboard, you have um, two arrow buttons the one pointing to the right obviously makes the PowerPoint presentation skip forward and the one to the left makes it go backwards. Now again I can annotate this PowerPoint presentation you know, and I can, I can include anything I like. I can 
obviously go to the next page and when I go back it's still there. When you close down the PowerPoint presentation it will ask whether you want to save the annotations that you've just made. Now obviously I've been able to do this um, on this clipboard where I'm walking around. So if you were for instance in a classroom environment you could be walking around to the back of the classroom, sitting next to the students in the classroom and you're sending a signal back to your computer. Now in a real life environment this computer would then have a projector attached to it and what you're seeing on your computer, on this computer screen now and on your computer screen in the classroom would be projected onto the, onto the wall. You know, some of the key advantages other than the walking around with, with the product so you're, you, you don't have to be at the front of the class uh, you know, when you're controlling everything is that you're using, albeit a digital pen, a normal size pen if you compare it to just a regular, a regular pen um, it's the same size you're, you're writing onto paper so from the feedback we've been given both by teachers and students one of the problems that people often find is that writing on a whiteboard at the front of a class is difficult. Uh, they're using a, um, a different type of pen. They're writing with their hands up at 90 degrees rather than flat on a table. So often the writing, um, you know, uh, both a student and also a teacher's writing, looks visibly different whether they're writing on a whiteboard or writing on, on, on a desk. Uh, students in particular prefer to write on a, on a desk. They find it less embarrassing that their writing looks, looks different and so on. There's also less disruption in the class. If the teacher brings this to the student, rather than the student having to stand up and walk to the front of the class, there's less disruption. This can obviously also be passed around the class um, and the teacher could ask different people to write different things. Okay, so just to recap, it's a very simple product. It only does three things. First thing is it allows you to do is control your computer's mouse. That would obviously allow you to open up uh, a web browser or a YouTube video or whatever it may be that you're doing while, while, while walking around the classroom. The second thing it allows you to do is have the virtual whiteboard. Now this is a very simple whiteboard. It, it won't have lots of the functionality that you experience from um, your, your, your regular whiteboard but it, is, uh, it, it solves a purpose. If you're looking for just a very simple way of writing something out quickly, it's there. And the third thing is the PowerPoint presentation, skipping through and being able to annotate. If you have any questions please just drop me a message and I'll try and answer them. And I'll also create shortly a, a, a more detailed look at how to install the software for this product.